Bismillah, alhamdulillah, peace be with you. Welcome to the Dean Show. I'm Eddie, your host, and my next guest, John Fontaine, who was on a jazz tour most of his life. He was imitating the likes of Tony Bennett, Fink Sinatra, was on the same card as Winston Marcellus, some of the, the jazz legends. We're going to be talking to him. We're also going to be talking about Christmas. It's that time of the year. People are getting jolly, spending a lot of money, having a lot of fun. So we're going to be really di digging deep into Christmas. And also, we're talking about Paul Walker, Tyrese Gibson, and uh, UFC champion GSP. We got another message for him. All of this and more here on The Dean Show. This is The Dean, The Dean Show. This is the Dean, the Dean Show. This is the Dean, the Dean Show. This is the Dean Show. This is the Dean Show. This is the Dean, the Dean Show. This is the Dean Show. With me. Salam alaikum. John Fontaine. Is there any re any relation to Johnny Fontaine from the Godfather movie? Was that the jazz singer in that yeah. movie? Well, this was the character which I was named after in my singing career. So, uh, yeah, because I used to sing jazz music. So from a young age, people was calling me Johnny Fontaine. Mm -hmm. and eventually, became John Fontaine. Yeah. So a lot of people know me by this name. So you were on a you you were trying to imitate the likes of. Tony Bennett, you've actually met Tony Bennett, yeah. and you were on the car same card as some of the uh, jazz celebrities like uh, Winston Marcellus. Yeah, and Winston Marcellus, and, and you sung on the same those, same yeah, card as in the same venues. Same like, venues. Yeah. So you mix with a lot of the the uh, great uh, jazz yeah. musicians out there. Yeah. This was your life. Yeah, my life for over eight years. Yeah. I was singing in cruise ships, jazz clubs, uh -huh. football stadiums. Yeah. Touring the world. Touring the world. Yeah. So tell us, how, how, did you, how did you end up, we're, we're going to actually, we're, we're not going to get, um, we want to get people excited also, to, we're going to go more in detail to your uh, story, but just kind of giving people some of the highlights, mm -hmm. that you were one who was, uh, you know, out there mixing with celebrities, you were mm -hmm. living that life, you were trying to be a star, you were reaching yeah. for the stars, wasn't yeah. that right? I wanted, to be, I wanted to be, you know, a famous jazz singer, yeah. and I wanted to be successful in my career. Do you feel like that's what a lot of people, not only do they emulate a lot of these celebrities, but they, they want to, if you're emulating them, you want to most likely, you want to be like them. You yeah. want to be, you want to be a star. Of course. Yeah? Yeah. And I mean, this is like uh, really at the end, uh, I mentioned that we were going to be talking about Paul Walker also, mm. who was celebrity, fast and furious. Do you know anything about him? Yeah. Again, he's, he, you know, he's, done, he's very successful in his career, you know, done many movies and uh, he had a sad end, unfortunately. Yeah, so, you know, the reason I, I bring up people like himself is because people idolize them, they look up to them, they line up to watch their films, yeah. but this was an individual who had hopes and ambitions, you know, beyond today. I mean, for years, they're already planning for a new film to come out, but then death sneaks up, and you never know when it's going to come. So people, usually, they avoid talking about the mm. purpose of life. And the yeah. whole theme behind The Dean Show mm. is we want to encourage people to really think beyond, behind the materialism, mm. think behind money and fame, mm. as you got to really thinking beyond that. And now, yeah. you know, you've, you've uh, changed your whole life around for the better. Yeah, I mean, this is what happens. I mean, it's one thing that we're certain of is death. You know, but we get caught up in the material world. You know, we're chasing our dreams, chasing money, or whatever it may be, and we forget to ask the question: What is the purpose of life? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Did you have you ever, did you ever get a chance to watch this uh, Fast and Furious? Um, I think I may have seen it. I can't remember actually. Yeah, but can you imagine? I mean, I, I also I trained uh, martial arts, the uh, uh, Gracie Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and he mm. was actually also someone who was involved in Gracie Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Mm. So he was athletic. He was someone who was a, a movie star. People idolize him. Yeah. But that's it. When that moment comes... I mean, I had an experience like this myself. Uh, three years ago, I actually collapsed on the floor. And uh, I found out I had a brain tumor. And uh, alhamdulillah, uh, two years ago, I had it removed, successfully removed. Um, but if it... 
I mean, at the time, my non-Muslim family was, you know, they was devastated, you know, because they didn't have any faith in, in God, you know, but because I was a Muslim, it, it, it didn't affect me at all, you know, because we, we know where, you know, we know about the, the hereafter and the purpose of life, and this helped me uh, in this calamity. Now, you, weren't, you mentioned Muslim, and mm. obviously a Muslim is one who, just like Jesus and all the mm. other messengers that the Creator sent, Muslim is one who submits not to his desires or a man or a woman yeah. or anything Christian, but to the Creator. Mm. And you weren't always a Muslim, were you? No. no. I mean, I was, I was brought up in a Christian background, so I was actually a Christian. I used to play the... We'll go into that in more depth in the mm -hmm. other story, I think. Yeah. But well, just give us yeah. some, some, some uh, snippets. Yeah, I mean, I, w I was brought up as a Christian... Uh, I was very active in the church. I used to play the church organ, and uh, eventually started looking into Islam. Many things led yeah. uh, to me to look into Islam, and finally, I came to the conclusion that Islam is the truth, and the Quran is the final revelation. Of there, there's somebody oh. out there who's like, man, this. They got uh, you know white Arabs, uh, or mm. like uh, you know maybe you Pakistani. Are you Asian or, or Arab or Pakistani? I'm actually from Manchester, England. Manchester, yeah. England. Yeah, so uh, my grandparents are from Ireland. Ireland? And, well, some of my grandparents. Uh, so you're Irish? One, one side of the family is Irish. Yeah. And the other side is English. So, uh, but I'm, I'm born and bred in Manchester, England. Yeah. yeah. So you you're... might have heard of Manchester United. Yeah, so this is... A, team. Uh, tell me, that's amazing now because I, there's a lot of stereotypes, obviously, that people think, okay, well, if you're Muslim, you're an yeah. Arab, yeah. you know, maybe you're, you're Indo-Pac, yeah. but you're Irish. Top of the morning to you, mate. Is that how they say it? <laughs> English, Irish. Yeah. Uh -huh, English, Irish. Yeah. Are there a lot of uh, you know, people who are God conscious, who are Muslim, who have, have turned their life towards the same direction as you've turned your life in, in, in this part of the world? Yeah, I mean, uh, since accepting Islam, I've been active in uh, Dawah, uh, which is conveying the message, inviting people towards Islam, educating people about Islam. And alhamdulillah, many people are accepting Islam and, and coming to the truth. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the same realization which I've had, which is that Islam is the, the correct way of life. Now, how, how do you, you know, and we'll go more into detail when we, when we talk about your story, but there's a fascinating clip out there. It's from a brother also. He's, I believe, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he's Hispanic. Mm -hmm. He's in Australia, and he's doing some wonderful work. He does this spoken word, yes, I've right? Seen him, yeah. And he did a very, very... Uh, um, wonderful video talking about the uh, meaning of life. Mm. Have you heard of this uh, Tyrese Gibson? Yes. Tyrese Gibson is also mm. like a very uh, good friend with Paul Walker. Mm. And he tweeted actually his video saying that this gave me life. Oh, That's amazing, isn't it? Oh, I've seen the video myself. We're, 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 we're going to go to a clip of it right now mm. so people who haven't seen it will just go ahead for 30 seconds. You can see it right here. Then just turn up the radio as you learn to live a lifestyle of drugs, sex, and rock and roll. But in all honesty, I just need to know Is there more to the cycle than growing and getting old? Living and dying just to leave behind a happy home and a whole lot of property that somebody else is going to own. I just really need to know before the casket's closed Cause I'm not willing to gamble with my soul Nor am I ready to take any chances These are just simple life questions And I'm just searching for some answers Like what are we doing here? And what is our purpose? How did we get here? And who made us so perfect? And what happens once we go? Or is this world all really worth it? So in this clip the brother goes into what most people are doing with their life. They're just like robots, mm. just waking up for another day, mm. another dollar, like zombies being entertained, mm. music, movies, following their desires. Were you kind of living the same life? Yeah. I mean, it, it was just one gig after another. You know, and the saying is, you're only as good as your last gig. You know, you're only as good as your last job because you're constantly chasing. You're chasing the, the, the world, you're chasing the dunya. Uh, the, the material life, and you're never going to get there. You know, we, we see this with many of the stars or the, the, the famous people in the world. Uh, they have everything. They have the money, they have the wealth, they have the fame, but they're still not happy. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that's, that's a fact. Mm. That's not mm. fiction. And people think like, okay, if I achieve this stardom, mm. I'm going to be like just in a yeah. world of bliss. Yeah. But they're some of the most mm. miserable people. Yeah. 
you know, unhappy. Why are you taking drugs if you are happy? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's amazing. So uh, before we get into also, we want to, it's that time of the year that, you know, Santa Claus is supposed to be coming and the yeah. gifts and he's bring, coming down, this man's coming down the chimney. Were you at one point in your life waiting for the big, uh, big guy to come through the, the, the Santa Claus to, with the, uh, you know, the big guy come down the chimney? Of the, course. <laughs> you were taught this. Yeah, I, 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 I believed in Father Christmas. It's yeah. probably my first belief. Yeah. You know, we, we're taught uh, from a very young age that Father Christmas is, is, is real and yeah. it's a reality. Uh -huh. You know, we're, um, we, we leave the, we, we, we taught this from a very young age, you know, we, we leave like gifts, like food, mince pies and a, a glass of wine for Father Christmas. Yeah. We come down in the, in the morning and it's been eaten. Mm -hmm. You know, this enforces the belief. Yeah. Uh, you know, we come down and these presents under the tree and this is real, you know, we, it was as if the presence just appeared, mm -hmm. you know, but unfortunately it, was, it wasn't real. It wasn't real. You know, yeah. And that's the, that's, that's the thing, that the that limelight of a lifestyle is made mm. to perceive happiness mm. and like that's real, but that's that mm. fake life, right? Fake life, yeah. And you were living it as a jazz singer, musician. Yeah. You said you're only as good as your last gig? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's you living for that moment. Yeah, that moment. Yeah. Yeah, but then what? I mean, when the when the when the uh, the, the people are gone and you're mm. by yourself, there's mm. no one else to mm. you know be mm. holding you up high. Yeah. And there's actually some <clears throat> I've seen recently online some tweets uh, from uh, Branford Marcellus. He's a famous uh, j uh, jazz sax uh, saxophonist. Yeah. And he was also saying that. He, he was disappointed he was going to certain places in the world and people didn't recognize him. Uh -huh. You know, he actually thought he was more famous than he actually was. Yeah, so he was like, <laughs> they don't know me. Yeah, ah. and it's the, the sense of disappointment in his tweet. That, that's that ego now, yeah. right? So people living for that ego. We got a lot more to talk about, more on Christmas and, you know, some of these more important topics. So don't go nowhere. We'll be right back with John Fontaine here on The Dean Show. Questions we don't answer because apparently we don't really have to There's no purpose to this life and our existence is merely natural Then in that case, please let me ask you Did you create yourself or was it somebody else who had fashioned you? Cause you're a being that's impeccable, faultless and unparalleled You're a product of supreme intelligence and I'm merely being rational for there isn't a camera on this earth that can come close to the human eye Nor a computer that can compete alongside the human mind And if the whole world was to come together we wouldn't be able to create a single fly So many signs yet we still deny Jihad, often mistranslated as holy war The word jihad means to struggle Islam does not preach violence It does not preach vicious holy war it certainly does not condone terror and suicide bombing. Islam preaches compassion, tolerance, and justice. Find the truth about Islam. Call toll-free 877-WHY-ISLAM. Order your free copy of the Quran today. Back here on The Dean Show with John Fontaine, who was shooting for the stars. And that's what many people nowadays, in one way or another, they, they, they want that status. They want to be loved, and they seek love. I mean, most of us, you know, love is not obviously a bad thing, but when you seek it just in the creation, mm. you know, and you don't, you give your heart away, you know, you sell it, and many people sell them their souls, and you give your heart away, and, and, and instead of taking it and giving it to the, to the maker, mm. to the one who created you, that, that becomes a real big problem, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, they, they become a slave to their desires yeah. instead of a, a servant and a slave to the Creator. Now, some people say, okay, what, what do you mean? A servant, slave to the Creator. Let, let's go into that because Jesus, peace be upon him, mm. you know, he was one who didn't submit to anyone other than the one who made him, the yes. Creator, right? Yeah. So he was a slave and a servant. And this yeah. is the same thing that you're talking about. This yeah. is what a Muslim is, yeah. correct? Yeah. And it, if, we, if, if we look at uh, Prophet Abraham, uh, you can say the father of all the three major faiths, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Uh, Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, he was going uh, through the same thing. You know, he, he, I mean, Prophet Abraham wasn't Christian or Jewish. You know, he came before Christianity and Judaism, but he submitted to the one creator. You know, and, and the Arabic term for this is a Muslim. That's it. You know, and, and we believe all the prophets and messengers were Muslim, mm -hmm. uh, people who submit their will 
to the creator of the universe. And that's the big problem I think that we have today is that people are just mm -hmm. blindly following customs and cultures. Mm -hmm. And this is one of those that we are going to be talking about now a little mm -hmm. bit more is Christmas. Mm -hmm. So you were celebrating it and you were doing the things that people do and do you still celebrate it? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, when I was younger, we would, I mean, Christmas was more of a, 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 a traditional thing yeah. rather than a religious mm -hmm. festival uh, in England. Uh, we, we would just look forward to the presents and the, and the turkey. Yeah. You know, it was, uh, it was a time for coming together, coming together with the family. But the thing with, with Christmas is that, that when we're taught to believe in Father Christmas, you know, that when, as children, you know, we would, the, the Father Christmas would come to the school, we would sit on his knee, we would tell him what we would like for Christmas. And ultimately, he would, you know, we knew that if we was good, if he was well behaved, then we would get our gift. Mm -hmm. So we was actually, um, if you like, uh, accountable to Father Christmas. Instead of being accountable yeah. to your maker, yeah. to the creator. Yeah, so we, we was accountable to Father Christmas. And throughout the year, our parents would say, if you're not good, we'll tell Father Christmas. You know, and I said, well, well. you know, the, you can see actually Father Christmas becoming... Like a in, God next yeah, to God. In a, in a God in next to God. And if we look at it in that sense, Father Christmas, it's a met metaphorical father. He's not our real father. Yeah. And we can see throughout other religions, including Christianity, and we have this similar thing happening where we have the Father, yeah. you know, and things like this. So when, when I opened up the show mm. and I mentioned people such as Paul Walker, the famous mm. movie star, Fast and Furious, and then Tyrese Gibson, who actually tweeted mm. that this gave this, this um, video, this meaning of life, mm. it gave me life. Because, it, it, you know, when you look yeah. into Islam, Islam is not something, and did you find obviously the same thing, because it's not blind belief. You didn't yeah. come at this just blindly. Yeah. You had to make some really big sacrifices yeah being a former Christian, mm. and now you were investigating, you were mm. using the faculties that the Creator gave you, didn't yeah. you, to yeah. realize that, to come to the reason, yeah. the realization that this is mm. really indeed from the mm. Creator. And it, Allah tells us in the Quran, we're not allowed to just follow blindly. You know, He tells us, bring your proof if you're truthful. Bring your proof. Yeah, and th this is not just for non-believers, this is also for Muslims. You know, many Muslims, they follow, uh, they say they're Muslim because their parents are Muslim. You know, this is not acceptable. We need to know why we're Muslim. You know, and, and Allah encourages us, to do, encourages us to do this in the Qur'an by looking for the proof. Now, you're also an author of a book called Jesus and the Injil. Yes. You mention Allah in your book. You talk about the name Jesus, peace be upon him. Mm. What did he call Allah by God? Yeah, well, the, I mean, most likely Jesus spoke Aramaic. And the Aramaic word for God is Allahu. Mm-hmm. You know, we know the Arabic word for God, the Arabic name for yeah. God is Allah. Allah. Yeah. So, and then in Hebrew, it's uh, Elohim. Elohim. There's many different. Allahu, Allaha, Allah. These are. This yeah. is an Allah. This is yeah. this is the it, one God. The one true God. Yeah. yeah. Did Jesus ever, ever in his life call people to worship him, to take him as a God, or some people say, okay, we don't believe in him as God, but he's God's son. Okay. No, Jesus never uh, called people to, to worship himself. He, al he always uh, he, he came with the true message, which was to worship uh, Allah, worship God, the Creator. You have no other gods. Mm -hmm. And do, do people like, because now that you're a Muslim, do you feel you love Jesus more? Yeah, I mean, we, we, we follow Jesus and respect Jesus. We love Jesus uh, a lot more than, than previously. Mm -hmm. yeah. And in, in your book, you talk about and you give the evidences and proofs that he was known as a prophet that uh, people didn't call, uh, obviously, that he was subordinate. Yes. He wasn't uh, with God, uh, God, but you give the evidence from the mm. Bible that he was actually subordinate to God, that he was one, mm. a, a slave to God. Yeah, he was, he was a slave to God and a messenger, and he actually received a message from God. Yeah. And we, we actually give the evidence within the book to show that, like the other prophets, like Moses and, and David, uh, they also received revelation from God. Jesus also received a revelation yeah. called the Injil. Uh, what do you now, and obviously we're not trying to bash uh, uh, Christianity or, or, or disparage, as I say, on anybody. We're just trying to enlighten people, people to mm. think and not blindly just, you know, follow, mm. just to mm. really think mm. for yourself and mm. to really do like you did yeah. and you investigated these mm. things. What were you going to say? I was going to say, uh, I mean... 
Christ, uh, Christmas is, you would say, a Christian uh, festival. And the Prophet Abraham, again, if we come to the story of Prophet Abraham, he also questioned what his forefathers were doing. Abraham, the Prophet yeah, Abraham. Abraham. He, you know, his, his, his forefathers were worshipping an idol. They were worshipping idols. They were believing in idols. They were was, they was asking idols and worshipping idols. And, um, and Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, questioned this. And when he found it to be false, he, he corrected his, he, or he tried to correct uh, his forefathers because he was searching for the proof. He wasn't just blindly following. So we, we should all uh, take uh, this lesson from Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him. What made you do that same thing? Because that's what you got to do. You got to not blindly imitate, mm. but you have to think for yourself and really mm. reflect. And at what point in your life did you start doing that? My first memory of uh, coming to the realization, and as I say, it, it's very similar to the Father Christmas moment because anyone who's believed in Father Christmas will remember the point that the exact place they were when they found out. I don't know if you remember. But when, when I remember exactly where I was when I found out Father Christmas wasn't real. And this happened also when I was in church because we was asked to write a song about Jesus. And my song was Jesus and God. And I remember the, the vicar coming over, grabbing the piece of paper and scribbling it out and writing, Jesus is God. And from this moment, from a very young age, maybe the, the age of about eight years old, this didn't fit with me. And this is when I began to question uh, my belief and start to look at other, other ways as well. So you're in the church, mm. okay, and you're, you were told to write a song and you, and you wrote Jesus and God? Yeah, Jesus and, and God. And who came now? And the, the, past, the, the, the past? vicar. The vicar came. What is it called? The vicar. Vicar is yeah. like, what is that, the pastor? The, well, he's like the pastor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But oh. in, England, in England, we call him the vicar. Vicar? Yeah. Vicar okay. for the Church of England. So he, he saw your song and he said, no, he's... Yeah, he scribbled, it, he scribbled my song. Yeah. And he said, no, Jesus is God. Yeah. And th this didn't make sense. You know, uh -huh. my, my, my fitra, my inner self, was telling me this, this is not uh, the correct belief. Because obviously Jesus, peace be upon him, who we love, no Muslim is a Muslim mm -hmm. unless you believe and love Jesus, mm -hmm. that he was the Messiah, is yeah. that right? Yeah, that he was born of um, the Immaculate Conception, and yeah. some, name some of these other things. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the similarities uh, between the Christian view of Jesus and the Muslim view the, are many. You know, we have Jesus uh, himself uh, calls him, refers to himself as a prophet within the Bible. Uh, he's, he has his miraculous birth to the Virgin Mary. And even, uh, even the, vir the Virgin Mary uh, the, in, in, this, in the sight of Islam, we, we have hadiths which, which speak of Mary as the most pious woman to ever have lived at that time. You know, and even in the Quran itself, we have a whole chapter called Surah Mary. Chapter Mary. In the verbatim yeah. word of God, the Quran. Yeah. This is amazing. Quran. Many people don't know these mm. facts. Mm. And when they tune in and they get to see people such as yourself, mm. Irish, uh, you know, people who are just white. Yeah. You're white. You're not uh, brown, dark. Mm. I mean, but people from, from all walks of life, the, yeah. the black and the white, obviously there's mm. no racism in Islam. Yeah. We're one humanity and Islam mm. brings us truly together. Yeah. So when they really get to see someone like you, you know, and, and who's also a former Christian, celebrated mm. Christmas, mm. but then you started to really think and not blindly follow, and then you mm. came to the realization that Jesus is not God, mm. no man is God, God is God, mm. we're the creation of God, we need mm. to submit to God. Yeah. That's what you did? Yeah, exactly, that's what I did. And in, in doing so, uh, even if we look again at the, tr the tradition of Father Christmas, why do we do this? We have to question why do we do it? Let's hold off right there. The thing that we got to go to break, so hold your place. Why do we do this? We're mm -hmm. going to answer that question here with John Fontaine on the Dean Show. Zero plus zero plus zero cannot possibly ever give you one. So from where did all this order come? For everything has its origins, a maker, a creator of its own. I mean, the only reason you're watching this video is because somebody had to press upload. So we can believe in the Big Bang, but I'd rather believe in he who caused it to explode. Allah, the creator of everything. I am not afraid to stand alone. I am not afraid to stand alone. If a lies by my side, I am not afraid to stand alone. I am not afraid to stand alone. If a lies by my side, I am not afraid to stand alone. I am not afraid.
afraid to stand alone If a lie's by my side I am not afraid to stand alone Back here on the Dean Show with former jazz singer, was touring all over, was it all over UK or all over the world? All over the world. All yeah. over the world. Yeah. You're really into music. Yeah, yeah I was. You, you was. Yeah, 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 you were. You gave it all up. Yeah. And, and wh wh why do you think people do they, they, what you did? I mean, you found solace at that point. Did you mm -hmm. find solace like, you know, contentment in music or it was just momentary entertainment and then all that wears off and then, then again you're bored and you're looking for excitement. It's not yeah. enduring like, yeah. like Islam. It's, yeah. you, have, you truly find that peace. Yeah. It's all temporary. It's temporary. Fulfillment, yeah. 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 And, and you, you really couldn't get no, I mean, wh why do you think people just keep going and going and they just keep hitting a dead end and a dead end and a dead end? Mm. They're constantly trying to fill that void yeah. within themselves. Did you fill that void with Islam? Yeah. MashaAllah. Yeah, so continue Islam. on. You said, okay, why do people with the Christmas yeah, before it, we went to break? It's important to look at what we do and question why we do it. And if you, if you look at the lessons we learn from believing in Father Christmas, I mean, why would you lie to your children, you know, uh, that, that Father Christmas is real? People might say, oh, because it makes it fun. People, people might say, because it makes it fun. Um, but many children are scared of Father Christmas, you know, and it's, uh, the lessons we learn from it is that it's okay to lie and that you can't even trust your own parents. And if you can't trust your own parents, who can you trust? Mm -hmm. And we, have to, we ultimately ha have to ask the question, is it possible we've been lied to within our own belief, such as if we follow uh, religion, we have to ask the question, is it possible we've been lied to with that? And is this where we can see how things build up? We've been lied to about the, the um, Santa Claus, yeah. the two fairy, and now Jesus being a literal son of God. Yeah. People being lied to about that too, isn't it? Yeah. yeah I mean, and then I'd... people just leave religion altogether and become... Atheists. This is the problem. Uh, people, because Christianity didn't make sense to them, they ultimately, this is what happened to me. I, I gave up religion. I, I still had the belief in something, belief in the Creator, but I gave up religion because I, I knew that I'd been lied to with religion and that, it was, that I couldn't find uh, anything to, to base my proof on. Therefore, I, I just left religion and just carried on believing. I had this belief inside of the Creator. But I left religion. Many people uh, go to the extreme of now denying there's a creator. And other people uh, stick with Christianity or stick with their belief. But they choose to follow it even though they don't have proof. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Uh, you find many, many Christians today, uh, they follow Christianity blindly. Yeah. Uh, even though they know that we don't have any, any evidence for it. We had a French brother on the show. Mm. And we took that opportunity to invite the Ultimate Fighting Championship um, GSP, mm. uh, George St. Pierre. He gave him a, a beautiful message. To George, à, yeah. To George and to the others that can interest you. God has given you this chance to have the health, to have a body and an energy that will allow you to do all these things admirable and extraordinary. George St. Pierre, he gave him a, a beautiful message. And, and we have this clip we want to share with, with uh, the audience and then get your, your thoughts on it. I can't, I can't sleep at night now. I'm, I'm going crazy. I had issues, man. I, I, I need to relax. I need to get out for a while, you know. I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, need, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, uh, I feel like I'm going to left everything out now, but I have to keep some of my stuff, some of part of my life personal, okay? You got to hear that. Yeah. I can't sleep at night. I'm going crazy. I can't. I can't sleep at night now. I'm. I'm going crazy. Can you relate to that? Were there sleepless nights in your career when you were at your top? But you still that void was so heavy. Like right now, he's at the top, mm. but he's going crazy. He can't sleep. Mm. Can you relate to what he's saying? In a sense, yes, because he, he's chasing. What's he chasing now? Because I had not got to the peak where I wanted to be. I'm constantly chasing. But now he's reached that peak. You know, he, he's, he's the champion. How, what, what now? And now he, he doesn't know where to go. He's lost. You cannot buy peace. I always say it. This is what I've said in the past. You cannot buy a six-pack of peace. Peace is something that comes yeah. from who? Yeah, the creator. The creator, the maker, the one mm -hmm. who made you. Mm -hmm. So how, what advice would you give for him? 
and, and other people now like uh, Therese, mm. who actually, the one who tweeted this uh, meaning of life, mm. who's obviously, that got him thinking. Mm. So, but there's a lot of negative mm. stereotypes associated mm. with Islam. So there's confusion. What do, mm. you, what do you advise people? I mean, there's actually a team, uh, well, there's a brother in England, uh, he um, called Imran Mansour, and he actually uh, invites the celebrities to Islam. Mm -hmm. This this is this is what he focuses on. Yeah, and and he actually contacts them, and many of them uh, are actually now starting to look in Islam. Yeah, look 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 towards Islam, and that's the only option. That's it. That is the only option. Where are you gonna go? I that's mean, where you're gonna keep you know going yeah. and following your desires, yeah. and there's no happiness yeah. there. I mean, the thing is, they they come to the reality. They have all the money, the wealth, the fame, and they can't leave their house. Yeah. You know, the, all the friends around them, they can't trust anyone. You know, it, it's, it's not a nice place to be in. But with Islam, subhanAllah, you go to Mecca for Hajj mm -hmm. and you, you're all wearing the same clothes, you know, the, the same two sheets and you're performing the, rit the, the rituals of Hajj and you don't know one person can be a millionaire, one person uh, can have no money. Yeah. You know, and it's a beautiful thing and uh, a, good, a good thing to actually read is the biography of Malcolm X, and he yeah. speaks about this when he actually went to Hajj, and he was sitting with millionaires and poor people. They all wearing the same thing, eating from the same pot, white, black. Subhanallah, it's yeah. beautiful. So, purpose of life—that's the crucial question. And do you believe that? I mean, that if you just take that simple step, that you ask your Maker to guide you, that He'll guide you. Yes, I I, I advise this a lot. Uh, so for, for people who are searching. Put your head on the floor in the, in, the, in the state of prostration, like all the prophets did, and ask the creator of the universe to show you the way, to guide you to the straight path. And someone who sincerely asks for guidance, subhanAllah, they'll find it in Islam. That's it, like you did, yeah. and, all, and so, so many, I mean, people, it's the fastest growing way of life in the world. Uh, today, yesterday, and tomorrow, it's it's growing because it's yeah. a, it has a believable message and it's based on proof and evidence, not blind faith. Is that yeah, right? Of course. Yeah. So we got to go. Uh, God willing, we'll have you back on the program again. People, you have the new book called uh, Injil, Jesus, Jesus and the Injil. Injil. Uh, where can people pick this up at? Uh, it's on JesusandTheInjil.com. Mm -hmm. You can order the booklet from there. The book is coming soon. Beautiful, sure. beautiful. Thank you very much. Well, yeah, I look forward to having you back again in the Dean Show. Salam alaikum. And thank you for tuning in to the Dean Show. And the fact, the reality is that just like Paul Walker and so many others, we come into this world, we live it, and then we die. And in between was where we just created in just and in play and in amusement. Entertainment's not going to bring you happiness. It's temporary fun and amusement. But the true happiness comes when you're living your true purpose of life and why you've been created. So are you going to continue going through life being entertained or entertaining people and not living your purpose? And then when you die and you face the ultimate reality, paradise is on one hand and hellfire is on the other, and you didn't prepare yourself for the eternal life of paradise that Jesus called his people to, Moses, Abraham, and the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, they all gave the good news that if you obey your creator, you do good, you live a good, righteous life, you're going to make mistakes, but you turn humbly and you repent only to the creator. No intermediaries between you and God, worshiping the creator, not the creation. That makes sense, but you got to want it. You wanted that UFC belt and you went for it. You wanted that money, that girl, that man, and you went for it. You cried for it. You sweat for it. But what about your maker? How much time are you putting in to seek him out? Have you once asked my maker, my creator, guide me? Have you done it once? Do it twice, three times. Put your head on the floor like John Fontaine gave you that beautiful advice. Do that right now before we leave and see what happens. And start to explore. Really look beyond the material satisfactions that are temporary and paradise that's forever but you got to pass the test of this life first to attain that so we hope that you got to benefit purpose of life that's really what you should be contemplating and thinking about and then build everything else on that follow us on twitter 
like us on Facebook and keep us keep up with us every week. We got a new show where we're talking about serious topics, topics that would change your life and your world for the better. We'll see you next time. Until then, peace be with you. This is the